everyone, beautiful peoples. I am Kim from Abundant Life Tarot, and today we are doing an unboxing of the Stretch Tarot. And this is all the way from Great Britain, it looks like. Yep, it is to California. And my husband just literally brought this in from the mailbox. It probably could have come here yesterday. It was super fast shipping coming from Great Britain to here. I think I ordered this on, it looks like it's saying I may have ordered it on the 17th. And today is the 25th, 26th. I don't know, but that's pretty fast for um, shipping for international. So I am stoked about this. So here we go. So we are opening this. I've been really getting into um, collage type decks lately. So um, we have this little card here. I have to kind of cover my face. Then it gets like, all right, do like this. Now I see why people do that. And this little card, it is bubble wrapped. Sorry for the noise in the background. My beautiful children are home, two of the three. And one of them wants a ride, so I have to hurry up and jump on here and do a quick unboxing before it's time to take off to wherever he's trying to go. And we have this beautiful stretch tarot. Look at the cover, look at the box. This is a uh, tuck box. I'm loving that. It has, what is this? It does come with to break down of meanings. Cool. Like that. Now, let's get to the fun part. Let's open. Okay. I'll be right back because somebody then took off one of my favorite scissors. I'll be right back. for a while for me and Dex purchases. I mean, I have a couple of pre-orders. Actually, I have like three pre-orders. One Oracle. The um, Messages from Spirit by Colette Baron Reed. That's on pre-order. I have the Numinous Tarot, which is a Kickstarter, which is probably well into the future, as is the Bone Stone uh, from Avalon. And Anna. So those three are well into the future. Um, and then I think that's going to be it for a while for tarot unless I find something on Los Scarabio or Llewellyn or in or US games that I might find. But all these, ex this wasn't actually an expensive deck by the way, but all those massively expensive decks are going to be coming to an end for a while. I have about 40 some odd decks. And I think for me, that's more than enough. So I am definitely going to consider um, just paring down or not shopping for so many decks anymore because I think I've now have my favorite. So here we go. So here are the backs. Uh oh, there's a damaged one. Oh, they're all damaged. Now, am I going to flip out over? Oh, I see here in the box. No, it traveled. This gives a deck character. Some people want perfection, but it, to me, it gives a deck character. I'm not going to send this all the way back for this. Now, some people would. I'm not going to, but I'm digging the backs. The full. One of the reasons why I liked 
this deck so much because I thought it would play nicely with my white rabbit oracle. I think I think it's going to play nicely with that. So that's one of the reasons I felt compelled to get the stretch tarot. There you go. I think there's two magicians in this deck. Yes, there is. The Empress. The Emperor. The Hierophant holds the key. The Lovers. The Chariot. Great card stock. I think I saw on the on the website it was like 300 or 350 GSM. And I can feel it. I don't like too thick a card stock because I like to riffle shuffle. I don't know if I'm gonna be riffle shuffling this deck though. It's gorgeous. Stress. Fortune. Justice. The hanged man. <laughs> I love this death card. Death. Temperance. Devil, the tower. I've got some serious emotions about this one. Some serious stuff that came up looking at that card just now. Uh, star. This beautiful star card. Judgment. The world. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, guys, I'm just gonna have to go through, pick out some. And you have to see what I love about the miners is the little keyword at the top. Work to three of pentacles. It's great for pentacles. And it's a diverse deck. Hmm. Especially love Nine of Pentacles. Here's Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. It says maternity is the keyword. Not sure about that. I wonder where they're gonna have the keyword for the Queen of Cups, but I don't know. King of Pentacles. That's a powerful King of Pentacles. 
and I'm getting total King of Pentacles from this card. You know, the meaning, and I just adore it. Okay, here's the Ace of Swords. Everyone likes to see the sword sweep. I think it was the Pentacles that made me grab this deck. And two of Swords. Everyone wants to see the Three of Swords. It's kind of important. It says sorrow is the keyword. And then I'm going to show you. <laughs> I'm going to show you Four of Swords. I like it. It's got a hospital bed. Rest. Queen of Swords Perception. King of Swords. Like that. Ace of Wands Creation. Wow. And this is mixed media art, by the way. Which I just really appreciate. I really, really am glad I got this set. Um, look, he's got, is that Jesus? This is Dominion for Two of Wands. It's like Jesus. Three of Wands, Virtue. Five of Wands, Strife. I think this started as a Kickstarter. I don't know the full history of this particular deck. Here's Eight of Wands. Everyone likes to see an Eight of Wands in the deck. And it says Movement. And I get movement from it. Uh, strength, Nine of Wands. Like, it's like matches. Ten of Wands, Oppression. Wow, look at that. Here's Queen of Wands, Optimism. That's beautiful. And King of Wands, Assistance. But the Kings, huh, I'll have to sit with that and work with the Kings. I'm not, I feel King's energy, but it's not in your traditional King attire, which I do like, but I will need to work with this deck more in order to really um, probably resonate with the King energies in this um, deck. Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. Oh, look at that. Two of Cups. Love the colors. Three of Cups. Abundance is the keyword. Pleasure for Six of Cups. Hmm. Look at Eight of Cups. This is Eight of Cups. Contentment. That's a great this necklace. Of mine. It's a great Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Mm, 
look at the Knight of Cups. Emotion for Queen of Cups. You can see that. So maternity for Queen of Pentacles. Emotion for Queen of Cups. I get that. And reliability for King of Cups. That's all the cards there. Um, I think I'm going to switch um, for a quick moment to my hands to show you guys. Let me shuffle them. And we can do a quick reading with them. I Before I do that, though, I just want to say that I am thoroughly digging this deck. I have a feeling I'm going to be using it a lot. It's going to be a great working deck. And I love the actual images and pictures. And it will be a deck that I will go to for time and time again. And here we go. Okay, folks, so there you have it. This is the wonderful Stretch Tarot. Um, 79 cards, I believe, by J.E. Stretch. There's the little guide pamphlet. And I am so dying to use this deck. I am going to adore using this deck. And um, it's going to marry nicely with my white rabbit oracle I think right that's gonna be so pretty in a reading and the stock as you guys can see is just amazing it shuffles like a dream it probably riffle shuffles like a dream as well based on the stock but I am not going to riffle shuffle this deck anytime soon only because I want to keep the newness of it. I will probably be doing readings with it for others as well as readings for myself with this deck. And I will probably do a follow-up review just to tell you, especially if I enjoy using it, I will do a follow-up review um, on it. But there you have it, folks. This is the Stretch Tarot. And... I hope you can get your hands on a copy as well, and it's going to be in my rotation of decks to use. It is going to likely be a go-to deck. I already feel this connection to it. I cannot describe it. I cannot explain it. It's kind of bent up in some of the decks, you know, but that happens with shipping international, and, you know, if you can't get with the program on that, then... He's going to be unhappy. I'm kidding. But I don't care about the little dents in the bottom as to be expected for international shipping. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Stretch Tarot. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And, of course, if you want more videos, please hit the subscribe so we can stay connected. Many blessings to all of you. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. All right, guys, here we go. We have a close-up view of the Stretch Tarot. Let's get nice and close up here. There's a box. I um, Okay, so this is my fault, the reason why it's stuck like this, because I tried to put the guide in there so folks don't do what I just did I tried to get the guy I'm trying to stretch the box the guy did not come inside of the box by the way it came with these things here let's get here are the backs Great cardstock. Mm. 
Okay. Just kind of giving you kind of a, a close and personal. We're going to shuffle. We're going to do a quick little reading here. Let's see. It probably ruffle shuffles like a dream, but I'm really not wanting to ruffle shuffle. All right, Spirit, please give us a message. Something that Spirit thinks that we as the audience need to hear. And I will take except jumping cards. Any other messages, Spirit? Okay. No other messages? That's fine, too. Okay, so messages that we have is conflict, two of swords, wealth, looks like nine of pentacles, diligence, page of pentacles. And when I look at this reading here, instantly what comes up for me is it pertaining to wealth, prosperity, um, building of things. Uh, there's some of us who are feeling conflicted about how we go about getting this wealth and, and how you get over that obstacle with the conflict is through diligence, through you know, going the extra mile, doing what you need to do to override this sense of conflict. Um, everyone is entitled to wealth, but a lot of us feel conflicted about receiving abundance in our life. We feel like we have to be blind to it or blind to um, the ills of having money but really there's nothing wrong with being in an abundant state in life um, actually it's encouraged and you know the pentacles are about you know what you are creating here on this um, earth plane and you are allowed to have this abundance you're allowed to receive it and Sometimes it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of diligence. But, you know, if you stay conflicted about your needs, your wants, and most importantly, your deservedness of abundance, you will not get it. You will not have it, regardless of if you have diligence or not. But if you take this opportunity to look at your belief systems about wealth and abundance, about how you go about gaining your your stacks of cash gaining your abundance gaining your prosperity you're gonna have to look at why you are conflicted on certain aspects of abundance is there a lack mentality are you choosing between lack or are you choosing between abundance are you choosing between a hard strenuous path or are you choosing between um working steadily and gaining it and, you know, aligning with what you're trying to manifest. Don't be conflicted. Go ahead and make a decision to reach wealth. That's the reading that we have here. Let's just take a quick look at these again. Gorgeous deck. And for shits and giggles, I want to look at the lovely little pamphlet. And since we pulled from the 
Miners here. We have pulled two of swords. And then the guide says analysis and decision making, stalemate, tension within. And then they even have it for a reversal. You have um, irrational decisions, avoiding problems, frustration. So you can do reversals. Wonderful. But again, that's what we're talking about. Analysis and decision making, stalemate, tension within. And we all seem to have a tension about wealth within us, especially in America. Like we have such abundance around us and it's crazy how much abundance there is. But it's also crazy how many of us live in a lack mentality and we choose lack over abundance. We choose lack over diligence in getting our, to our coins. Next up, let's look at Nine of Pentacles, which says financial gains, growth, rise in position. And then for Page of Pentacles, it says applying oneself, encouraging change, work ethics. And again, staying ethical about how you go about getting your coins. You know, you can get coins without having to sell your soul. And many of us need to recognize that um, you don't have to sell your soul out to get where you're trying to go. And a lot of people believe that. Again, that is another lack mentality, another mis a belief system that no longer really serves us. Right. That's not serving us in getting to where we're trying to go. But if we believe um, in being ethical, having morals or morals, um, making sure that we stay in alignment with our true self, our true being, doing work that really honors our self, honors our beliefs, then you you will again build wealth. There's no way around that. I see us all uh, encountering um, many um, aspects of being able to get what we want, uh, but we just have to make the decision uh, to look at things through the filter of an abundant mind and not from a place of lack. So there you have it, you guys. This is the stretch tarot. And I just have a feeling I'm going to be using this deck a lot. I think this is going to be my new workhorse deck. And I'm excited to use it in some of my readings that I will be doing for my clients and for myself. So... I hope you enjoyed this part of the video and um, yeah, if you did, please hit the like button and if you would like to see more videos, please let me know in the comment section and also by hitting the subscription button. Anyways, many blessings to you. I wish you all the best. I wish you nothing but abundance, everyone. And thanks for joining me, Kim with Abundant Life Tarot.